there are many options, many techniques of using transparent resist or gutta or whatever you call it. Today I will give you one of them which is multi-layered and I really like this technique. It gives quite complex and even sophisticated image. Silk painting with me, Ilona Store. And today I will paint pure silk setting with a very interesting surface and I'll explain why. I will use transparent resist after each coat of painting. I already have the silk stretched on my frame and if you are wondering how I do it, there is a video on the channel about frames, how to stretch silk and how you can make a frame like mine. So my silk today is thick setting, tinted one and I'm applying resist. As I said, transparent. This is the first layer. I decided that a paisley motif would be great for my idea. I'm drawing it by hand. I mean, I have a rough idea of how it's drawn and I make up as I go along. I want to make the shapes elongated and graceful. Here you can see that the surface of the silk has a worn jeans effect. That's because the silk is meant to be lined and had a very strong factory treatment on it that prevented the silk from crumbling and also prevented moisture from penetrating. And at first the water dripped off this setting. But since I have this silk in my stockpile and I really like its noble grey color, I decided to use it. But in order to be able to paint on it, I boiled it with baking soda for about an hour. And now it absorbs dyes very well, but has acquired this cuffed effect and a new interesting look. To paint silk I need water. My dyes are yellow, crimson and bright blue. A paper towel to dry the brush, a plate to serve as a palette and a brush, a flat bristle one for a while. About the color set, I really like to use these three colors, red, yellow, blue. Although those who have already been on my channel know that you can get a very painterly image in any gamut using only these three colors. In fact, these are the base colors from which all the others are made up. In the first layer, it's important for me to set the overall gamma and to make the outline appear. In today's case, the main element of the image will be the outline, that is, the resist line. There is already a video on the channel about using transparent resist. Today's option is mentioned there, but there are others. And if you are interested, here's the link. And of course, the color of the silk will affect the overall gamut. I finish painting the background uh, and to the edges I still make the color lighter, sometimes just wet it with water. And I try to spread the hollows with the bristle brush. So it looks until the silk is wet and so when it's dry. Well, now I'm applying the second layer of resist. I made it a bit wider by adding a few drops of solvent and 
it's clear that now the color of the outline will be in some places brownish, in some places yellowish, and so on. It will take the color on which it's applied. And I forgot to say that the resist is solvent based and the dyes that must be steamed. From this angle the resist seems dark, but this is only because it's still wet. Resist must necessarily dry well, otherwise the dye will flow over it and may even smudge. I'll show you later how undried resist looks like. When resist is dry, you can start the second coat. And already you can see how interestingly the counter lines begin to vary both in color and thickness. The first layer is lighter, more active. The second is more muted. In some places I manifest the pattern not only with the outline, but also with color and brightness. The silk is very dark when it gets wet, but when it dries it will be much, much lighter. I use a semi-dry brush to make a small accent. And this is the third layer of resist. In fact, you can apply it as many times as you want. I get carried away sometimes. I really like to make the image multi-layered, complex in color and design, and sometimes it becomes even mysterious. That's how the undried resist shines, and again I have to wait for it to dry. And this is the last coat painting. Now I reveal the last layer of resist and I paint a bit differently. I add contrast and sharpness inside the paisley. I emphasize the paisley pattern.
each next layer of resist becomes more delicate, barely noticeable, but it's still there. Uh, I'd like to remind you that likes, subscriptions and comments matter and are warmly welcomed. The more reactions you give, the better and the more people will see this video. I thank everyone who responds. signature. See what a variety of counter lines, how they differ in color and lightness.